Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today I wanted to go through and do a flip through of my teacher lesson planner that I just got. Now I'm not a teacher yet, I still have about a year and a half left in my degree. Um, but Erin Condren was having a sale and I know they're coming out with a new design soon and I don't really know if I'm going to like it. You're going to be able to hear my dog in the background. Um, but I love the painted petals so I just decided to go ahead and order it. Um, and it came with free gift with purchase which is the teacher record book which is a $30 value so I just decided to grab it, it was 30% off free purchase um, so I just did it and I got an address book at the same time um, so I picked up this this is the watercolor apples design and I just got my name on it Miss Butler what my students will call me uh, all the planners come with planet pouch and the address book actually came with a planet pouch too so I just kind of put everything in here but they come with the standard freebies like some labels and some compliment cards that you get in there. So just stuff like that. I just stuck it all in there. I really like these pouches. So I just wanted to do kind of a comprehensive flip through because I wasn't able to find a lot on YouTube. So I figured I would just do one. Sorry about the glare too. But this is what it looks like. You open it up and it just has the standard like Erin Condren this book belongs to. And it's got the painted petals design that I really like. And then you flip the page, you have a quote page, all about me. It's got their classroom resources, web resources, and passwords, school year, grade school, address, phone, all that stuff. Um, classroom events and volunteers, so like name and contact information, date and events, so like you put field trip and any helpers, anything like that. Uh, helpful hints for the substitute, which I may be a substitute for a while, so I really hope that my teachers have this. Communication log, so like things like if you need to get a hold of parents or principal or anything like that. And they all have tabs on here too, so they have a contact tab, year plan, which is this one. It's got your yearly layout. And this uh, is undated, so I can really use it whenever it comes with date dots. I'll show you those later. Absentee log. And then it's got uh, four pages of graph paper. And it just says, use these graph pages to create seating charts, organize groups, track year-long learning assessments, and log other important information. This is your space to create a system that works for you. So it's basically just for everything. And then some notes pages, and you get right into the month. And you can get it uh, January to December, but I decided to get it August to July because that's a standard uh, Canadian school year. Well, September to June is standard, but I know teachers start a little bit earlier and go a little bit longer. So it is undated. It does have these two calendars here, 2017, 2018. You can easily go to basically any Etsy shop and get a small calendar like this, or I can print that out myself on sticker paper, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, but it has all of the months at the beginning, and it has all of these really nice quote pages with the painted pe petals, which I love. And uh, it's got the note pages just like the Erin Condren Life Planner. And it's got um, some dates to remember. Now these are mostly U.S. dates, so Canadian and U.S. dates uh, differ somewhat. Um, and then like a place for birthdays. But like Canadian U.S. dates, so like in July, the U.S. would be Independence Day. Canada Day is actually July 1st, so that's that's some things that we differ and we don't have like President's Day or anything like that because we don't have a president um, but then after all of your undated months you go into your actual lesson planner which I love I love the pan petals it's my favorite and this is what your lesson planner looks like so it's got Monday through Friday and then it's got seven slots for subjects or periods and the, a place for the time and a place for the week number so this is completely undated except for those little mini calendars which like I said really super easy to switch and I believe if I'm not mistaken on the Erin Condra website it says you have um, 52 of these weeks I don't think you need that many but like if you made a mistake or something like just in case but I may be wrong on that don't quote me on that we have all your lesson plans and then the very last tab is checklist tab which uh, these checklists are the same checklists that are in the teacher record book, except the teacher record book is all checklists. And then you have some dotted paper and it says seating chart and you have eight of those. And then you have some line paper 
and then in the back of the teacher record book you have some stickers so it's pretty basic and in the front you kind of have the same thing like this book belongs to and you have the all about me so same thing as the front of the teacher lesson planner year in review and in this one it does have dates for 2017 2018 has a year at a glance but I can cover this page up, I can make my own, I can print my own out. You can do so many things with it. You don't have to leave it in there. So you've got, I think the standard comes with seven, but you can print, you can print, you can add more to your order. So you can have like seven, 14, you know, 28. I think you can have up to, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how many. But we'll flip through these and then you have some stickers so these are the stickers that are kind of like the ones in the life planner except they are specifically related to teaching and being in school so like big day break time to prep me time note to self you did it awesome way to go stuff like that and then these ones uh in the life planner i think they're like to do celebrate these ones are note to self testing meeting reminder uh, furlough, field trip, assembly, conferences, holiday, and to-do. And then icons specifically for school as well. And then your labels, and then your kind of like flag labels. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's it's got the flag ends. And then it's got the really nice pocket on the back. And then this one, both the same as the life planner. And then it comes with free date dots that match the colors in the planner, like the Erin Condren monthly color scheme. And then in the back, it's got this cute little, like, pocket folder. It's like a top-loading pocket where you can put, like, students' artwork, stuff like that. Um, and then just the back cover. And this thing is huge. I can't believe how big this is. I thought it was going to be a little bit smaller than this, but this is my address book, and this is the size of a regular life planner. But you can see how much bigger it is. It's probably got, like, two inches and then you know, half an inch and then the coil on it. So it's much, much bigger. It is um, like the eight by 11 or the eight by 10, whereas the life planner is like seven by nine. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that and give kind of a comprehensive flip through. I believe Erin Condren is still having the 30% off sale with the free gift with purchase while supplies last. Um, it's currently April 16th, so you'll probably have to go check that out to make sure. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.